day. My name is Kaskara, and I am a brachiopod. I am here today to tell you about my journey through life and my phylum. As a member of the phylum Brachiopoda, I'm a lamp shell. We have bilateral symmetry, so we look like bivalve mollusks, but we are not the same. We are also coelomates, so we have a fluid-filled cavity that protects our organs. <laughs> not that kind. As brachiopods, we also have a distinct feeding structure called a lophophore. This structure contains cilia that we use to gather food. We typically feed on planktonic organisms, one of my favorites. The red is my ultimate favorite. It tastes like swordfish. Yummy. As brachiopods, we also have the most fossil records of any group of organisms, something that we are very proud of. In my opinion, my home is the most comfortable place in the world. We live on rocks. Everyone has their own preference, but we love to attach to substrate. While we can be found at all depths, you would most likely find us somewhere on the continental shelf. We also have a preference for cold water. It keeps the shell fresh. I happen to be an articulate brachiopod, so not only am I eloquent, I have a hinge-like connection between my two shells. I would rather not talk about the reproductive model of our phylum, so let me introduce my dad, Sheldon. Is this thing on? Okay, great. Hello, everybody. My name is Sheldon, and I will be talking to you about the reproductive model of brachiopods. In most cases, fertilization is external for brachiopods since we use broadcast spawning. Females pick up sperm from the water, and fertilization occurs internally. A few of us are hephrophytes as well. We have a distinct free living larval stage. We call them lobate larvae. Brachiopods are also protosomes, meaning the mouth is developed before the anus. Okay, that's enough, Dad. Let me talk to you about our patterns of movement. This topic isn't particularly interesting because we don't really move. When we do move, though, we use our muscular foot. It looks like this giant tongue, but it's actually a foot that allows us to move around and burrow when necessary. Now that I've told you about brachiopods as a whole, let me tell you about my class, articulate brachiopods. Before I tell you more, here's a picture of our family tree. As you can see, we are most closely related to the Annelida family because we both have segmentation. We go way back, 540 million years back. My family evolved a two valve system, which is probably to keep us safer than mollusks, which only have one valve. As I mentioned before, we have a hinge-like connection and there is more diversity in our class. Like most brachiopods, you can usually find us in shallow waters on coarse sediment. Inarticulate brachiopods don't have our hinge-like structure. Instead, they have this really complicated web of muscles that allows them to open and close their shells. So they're very strong. Their shells are made of organic matter. They usually have a black or brown appearance. Anyways, thanks for listening to the story of my phylum. I hope we cross paths again, which we probably will since we can survive for like 30 years. Bye. Both the phylogenetic tree generated in lab and the tree found in literature show that phylum Annelida and Brachiopoda are closely related. A difference is the tree found in literature shows phylum Annelida and Mollusca are closely related, but our tree shows that they are very distant relatives.